next week. Yes. Weird seeing yourself on the telly. Alison's back. Well, I'm enjoying my time with you. Oh, yeah, you know, but... You can't we... wait to get home, can you? No, well, well I'm loving back. having my Queenie back. I'm missing her. Me miss you, out. Now, then, welcome back. Now, Easter represents a time of hope, of new life, mm. of new beginning. Exactly what you'll find over at the old Cotswold Farm Park, because it is lambing season. Yeah, with over 900 lambs expected to be born on the farm this spring, we're joined now by head farmer Adam Henson, who's with some new arrivals. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. Good morning, good morning. Yes, it's all go here on the farm, as it is for shepherds right across the UK. A very busy time of year. These are our little soas. We've got lots of rare breeds of sheep here at the Cotswold Farm Park. These are little soas, the most ancient indigenous British breed. Tiny little coloured lambs that naturally shed their wool in the spring. And if I pop these down to their mum... Oops! And we go next door. We've now developed our sheep breeds to big white woolly ones. And here you can see the difference in the size. They're the same, old, same age, just two days old. These will stay in the pen here now for another 12 to 24 hours before they go out into our nursery and then away into the field. There's someone in the lambing shed 24 hours a day because we've got about 150 ewes in the pens to the right here. And they're all due to give birth over the next 10 days. So anything could happen at any time. Over here, we've got little lambs that were born first thing this morning at 7 o'clock this morning. Their little umbilical cord where they were attached to their mum is still wet. We've dipped that in iodine to stop any infection. And we've got all our guests here at the Cotswold Farm Park. Come to see lambing. Say hello to Carmen and Josie. <laughs> And of course, as well as lambs in the spring, there's lots of other little Easter specials. So we've got some beautiful little chicks and our guests can go into our discovery barn and get to hold a baby chick, which is so special. They're really, really lovely. And of course, great for Easter. And then down here, we've got Tiddler. Tiddler was born very small, so he's being, well, she's being bottle fed and uh, doing really well, growing very, very fast. And then we've got Dottie down there, who'd also like a drink. <laughs> so there Dottie. we are, Tiddler. And then over here, we've got uh, Mike, our livestock manager, who's busy marking up the sheep. What's going yeah. on here, Mike? Just marking these up so the lambs get the same number as the ewe. And this one's red, because we know she's got one lamb. And then this was born yesterday. And hopefully when the sun comes out in a day or two, you can go outside. And how are you coping with all the lambing? Because it's pretty full on, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty full on, as you say. It's been quite the last few days. Um, nothing lamb during the night last night. But as you said, we've got 150 to lamb now in the next week or so. So it's going to get very busy. So Mike times are tapping when the rams go in with the ewes um, back in the autumn so that they're lambing during the Easter holiday so lots of people can see ewes giving birth. And that idea of an animal giving birth is so special. It's so lovely to see. And so we get a mixed reaction. We get tears. We get people clapping. And it's an incredible thing to see. Although I've seen thousands of lambs born, as they come into the world, it really is very, very special. And we're here 24-7 looking after them making sure the lambs are born fit and well. And what we're looking for when a ewe is about to give birth is she becomes restless, she pulls the ground, she lies down and stands up, uh, she starts licking her lamb in anticipation of licking the newborn lamb, and then she starts to push. And the lambs are born inside a sack of amniotic fluid, birth fluid, and they're born two front, no two front feet and nose first. So the most streamlined position for lamb to be born is like that. That's the way they come out of their mums. Once the bag has burst and the waters have broken, the lambs are born like this. Sometimes they might have a leg back or a head back, or they might be breached birth when they come backwards, and then we're here to be able to assist and help if we want to. And it's a wonderful time of year, spring, possibly my best time of year. You get incredible um, spring flowers, all the leaves coming on the trees, and what's really important for us is lots of grass, so that those ewes can produce lots of milk um, to feed their baby lambs. 
My dad started the Cotswold Farm Park in 1971, so over 50 years ago. And we've got 50 different breeds of seven different species. So we've got cattle out there with calves, we've got horses with foals, we've got some donkeys that are due to give birth soon, lots of breeds of goat and pig and sheep and poultry and rabbits as well. And our visitors love to get up close to the animals and do um, some feeding for the animals out in the walkways, holding chicks, bottle feeding lambs, those sorts of things, which I think is really special. People understanding what goes on in the countryside, where their food comes from, learning about rare breeds conservation is my passion. And to be able to have all our guests here to tell them all about it is a real treat. And wonderful to be with you here today. Oh, Adam, Aww. thank you. That was lovely, Adam. And, and do you know what? Fair play to you, because you, I know you guys are up all through the night waiting for all these births to happen down there. It is a real hard trade yeah. being a farmer, and you do it well. We need your sort. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take Thank care, you, Adam. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Great, I couldn't imagine they've had a lot of sleep. Such a nice man as well. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah, perfect. Um, now,